Hey guys, appreciate you uh, checking out another live training. We do these every Thursday. Um, and we're going to be starting a new uh, series, this time specifically on the winter slow season. <laughs> and uh, this kind of came about, I talk to agents all the time, uh, both inside and outside, you know, our user base, people that use the system. I'm one of the coaches here, so obviously I talk to everyone who, who uh, comes through and uses our system, but I'm always talking to agents outside as well. And um, we've gotten some inter interesting comments here recently. Uh, everything ranging from, you know, I'm winding down for the winter slow season. So, you know, taking some time off, which I don't have any, anything against, of course. Family time is important. Um, I've also heard, yeah, I'm really going to hold off on any uh, lead generation stuff for right now until, until at least the new year so that I can really get the best bang for my buck. And, uh, you know, when I hear those, quite frankly, my answer to that is nonsense. <laughs> um, not to specifically call out those agents, of course, but, you know, I don't think that uh, the winter season should be slow. And I'll give you a couple reasons why. We're going to start a new series on really sort of um, uh, evaluating and planning uh, for, for the upcoming season. Um, now, it is true, before I get the comments that say, hey, you know, the numbers are would say differently, there is a winter slow season. Yes, mar uh, inventories in most markets are typically smaller during the winter season, and uh, typically fewer homes are sold. That said, um, what, we're, what I'm talking about when I say slow season is for real estate agents. Um, yes, I still think that there's deals to be done, but uh, primarily, particularly when it comes to lead generation, um, I think that this should be your busy season. Because statistically, particularly if you're generating online leads, uh, internet leads are, tip, are, are statistically three to six months out from closing. And so if you wait until January or February to start that process, it'll be midsummer, um, you know, before uh, you get to the point where you're even starting to close deals. Whereas if you were to start generating internet leads now, spring, you're going to be able to fully take advantage of the springtime, uh, which is when the sales begin to pick up. The second thing uh, you know, that, that uh, I always think of uh, when I think of what other agents are doing, and yes, it's true, lots of agents take a lot of time off this time of year. They slow things down. Maybe they slow their marketing down. They reduce their budgets, uh, hunker down for the winter. And uh, to me, that's always a signal. When other agents are zigging, I want to zag. I want to do the opposite of what the crowd is doing. Um, particularly when it comes to marketing, A, uh, if, if you're on like a pay-per-click service or something like that and other people are reducing the budgets, that means that there's more available inventory and typically costs are going to come down for you. Uh, there's less competition on some of the free sites like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. So your ads are automatically going to get more of the traffic that's, uh, that's available there. Uh, and like I said, lead generation should be at, in my opinion, a peak right now. Not, you know, not winding down uh, for the rest of the year. And then the last way that you should keep busy during the winter season is this is a great time to sort of reflect over the past year. And this is what we're going to continue this series with, um, is figure out how you're going to attack the next year. Now, for some of you, maybe you blew the doors off your goals and you're right on track. Now, I talked to a lot of agents, and I know a lot of you missed your mark for 2017. So this is a good opportunity to see what you did, what were the good things that you did, and what are the things that need to change uh, for the upcoming year. Um, and I don't even think you have to wait until January to start a new plan. If things are slowing down for you and you have less, le fewer leads to, uh, to handle, less business to do right now, this is a great time to go ahead and evaluate those advertising options now. Figure out what you're going to do moving forward and go ahead and get started. There's no reason to wait until January or February to start generating leads because, like I said, if you want a springtime uh, busy se season and not a midsummer, late summer busy season, then you need to start with the lead generation now. So those are just a, f a few reasons why, uh, in my opinion, there shouldn't be a winter slowdown or uh, uh, you know the, the slow season. Um, next week, we're going to specifically talk about how to evaluate all of your advertising. And I mean everything from open houses to magazine ads that you may run 
to maybe it's a bunch of Facebook ads that you're running or some other uh, advertising source. We're not going to leave anything out. Uh, we have some tools that are available to anyone that are free. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through how to use uh, our advertising evaluator. And then the following week, uh, we're going to talk specifically about business planning for the new year. So it's one thing to put down goals on paper and just figure out, hey, you know, I'd love to make $100,000 next year. But uh, we want to not only put a goal down on paper, we want to put a plan of action for how we're going to achieve that goal. Um, so next week, quick schedule change. It won't be on Thursday. Of course, that's Thanksgiving uh, here in the United States. So we will have our normal Thursday training on Wednesday at 2 p.m. So I'll put some notices here in the group. So uh, feel free to join us Wednesday at 2 p.m. And uh, we'd love to have you. You guys have a great day.